KG5 EIU. I'm going to show you how to use the terminal mode on the new ICOM 705. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is get into the DV mode. Press and hold, and that'll bring up DV mode. There are a few things that need to be configured for DV mode to work, or terminal mode to work. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to want to have a network connection, which we do here to my local network. You'll also need to open up port 40,000 UDP back to your radio in your home router. We'll not uh, cover any of those details here, but that will be needed for this to work with built-in terminal mode. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are uh, setting the destination, the reflector that you want to go to. So get into the menu mode uh, under tile two. You can look at DV gateway. There's a couple of things that you want to set here. First and foremost, the internal gateway and the gateway repeater is a destination that you want to go to. Now, I have uh, in the dashboard here, I have XLX 687 is a reflector that I have set up that we would like to go to. And you can see the friendly name here, uh, right here in the URL. It's just the first part of it, xlx.davidcapello.com. Uh, there's another reflector out here, uh, XLX102 that supports terminal mode as well. Maybe you want to go to that one. Or there's another one, uh, XLX227. Uh, Marius, he's the creator of the software actually that allows terminal mode to work. But let's get, let's get connected to the first one here, 687. You'll want to set your destination and that's done in the gateway repeater section and just enter the friendly name. You don't have to know an IP address, an IP address will work, but you don't have to know it. Go ahead and enter that in and hit your enter button. And uh, you also wanna make sure you uh, set your terminal AP call sign. This is really important. It's gotta be eight characters. I have six letters in my call sign, KG5EIU space terminal number Q I'm gonna use, just picked one lower down in the uh, alphabet there. You'll want to uh, enter that. And this other stuff here, the gateway type, leave that to global, UDP hole punch. You can turn it on. Uh, in theory, it might help with the UDP with uh, port 40,000, but with my networking that I have at home, it didn't seem to do any thing at all. I had to open up the port to my radio, UDP port 40,000. Uh, the rest of this stuff, you can just go ahead and leave alone. Uh, go ahead and get back out of there. Now we've set our destination to our reflector. We need to connect up to the module. And that's done via the two here. And you'll want to go to direct uh, UR input. And so you would just enter in which module you want to go to. In this case, the slash is important. So slash uh, XLX. We'll need some numbers here, 687. Module A is the transcode. So that would be the destination. If I wanted to go to the, the 102, for instance, I would have to set um, XLX 102. Uh, in this case, B is uh, his hangout room right here. You can see, uh, and let me move this out of the way here. Uh, you can see his hangout listed here is B. Uh, if you look on XLX 227, he has B over here for his hangout as well. But uh, we're going to connect up to 227, or I'm sorry, 687, and transcode's on A here. Okay. So once we have that, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And uh, now you have to put yourself in terminal mode. And the way you do that is back in menu, under DV gateway, where it says terminal mode, turn it on. And when you do that, uh, you'll hear a little click and you can go get some eye candy if you want, uh, turn your audio back on. And now we have our two, our, our field set to the module A on 687. And we've, we're in terminal mode, we've set our destination. And now we're gonna quick key the mic. Now pay attention 
uh, when I click key up here, you'll see right here on this little cloud, you'll see it go out and connect. And this is a successful connection. So we'll just do a quick key. And you'll see the little uh, arrows and then you'll get that green arrow back. And that means we've connected. And you can indeed validate that you've connected because if you go out to the dashboard, you'll see right here, KG5 EIUQ and my suffix 705 and my call sign uh, has connected up to the dashboard. So that is how you get connected in terminal mode to a reflector. Have fun, 7-3 from KG5 EIU.